The fusion continues inside of Raid Shadow Legends, and today it's about Fire Knight and Dungeon Divers and more. You guys can see there's a lot of stuff going on all over the screen. We have events going on that are going to help us with this fusion here today, and we have fine-tuned things to the point where we're feeling pretty good. I don't have everything optimized to the T, but we do have things looking fairly good. Now, just so you know where we are, take a look at the roadmap here, the event calendar. Everything that I have circled, I have completed. We are now at Dungeon Divers, we're in day two of it, and in Fire Night. I grinded a bit of Dungeon Divers through Spider yesterday, just about a thousand points worth. Now it's all about the Fire Knight Tournament, and I had to put together a team that actually worked well for this. I'm going to be showing you the team that I built alongside of my coach, Burnt NPC, or maybe I should say my friend, Burnt NPC, at this point. Because, man, what a great guy. Helps me and the community. Thank you, brother. Before we get into any more, though, some of you have been following me on this journey, and I appreciate all of you. I want to thank you all for subscribing to the channel, tuning in every single day to watch me do this. And if you've never played it and you're like, what is this crazy man doing? He's getting this excited over a mobile game? Yes, I am. This game is awesome. And in the description of this video, there's a link that if you click on it, you get a free champion, a whole bunch of free rewards. You can play the game for free and follow alongside of me. Or we have a QR code up in the corner of the screen. Do you see it? You can scan that and it will do the same and give you the same rewards as well. Not to mention, it directly supports me on this YouTube channel and my journey inside of Raid Shadow Legends, in Fred of, in, in, inside of being a YouTuber itself. Thank you, guys. So let's take a look at this team. So first things first, we're going to take a look at the tournament itself, right? We've done a few. We just did some fine-tuning of things, and our progress has been minimal. We've only gotten 119 points, but really that was on today's energy and one energy refill, so not the most needed in the world. When we go over here to go, you'll notice that we did clear stage 16 of Fire Knight. It is close. It is difficult. It is not easy. Let's take a look at the team that we're using. There is the team. Let's take a look at the team setup that we have here, because this is where it really becomes important. Notice Rathalos. Until round three, we basically put an opener as his spirit thrust. Geomancer, round three, opener with... Tremor Staff, Turning Off, Creeping uh, Petrify, and Quicksand Grasp is the first choice, if available. We turned off Quicksand on round one and two. Apothecary, we don't want him to use speed. We need speed for that second round. And we also are utilizing the opener, which is Scatterbolt, because we want to slap that shield around. Kale, round three, Disintegrate we're going to open with. We just want to drop some damage with Kale, but really it all came down to her. Who's her? Her is Ursula, of course. We came down to Ursula, not even how we set her up, but her blessing. We had to change her blessing. Notice she opens up with Lance of Pentinence, but look at the blessing we had to throw on her. This is the team. And I just won three in a row on stage 16 with that team. So it had, and it was not working until her blessing was changed to faultless defense. Because this blessing here, whenever an enemy attacks an ally under an increased defense buff placed by this champion, reflects a portion of the damage back to the attacker. And look at here, we got a two start up. So we're gonna be doing a little bit more. 3% damage reflected. All right, you see what I'm saying here? Reflecting that damage is gonna get extra strikes on the Fire Knight shield. So let's go watch this go in action. Now that the key here is, I don't want to sit here and manually do this a hundred times to complete the event. I don't have time for that. So we had to make it so that it worked with the AI of the game. So let's go on in and we're going to watch this AI itself out. And we're going to hope that we can pull in another win. Now, I haven't been using super raids because I'm not 100% convinced just yet that we're going to be able to get through this. Now, it takes a little bit longer in the beginning because I'm not using any of the really big skills to really damage these initial stages. But when we get to the night, we are prepared. I am sitting here with a cup of joe, coffee that is, and I'm enjoying this. Now, it's a couple of a minute battle. I'm gonna be using a whole bunch of auto battles and a whole bunch of energy. We'll be doing a lot of this today inside the video so that this can kind of run in the background throughout the day while I attend to work, while I attend to my family, and I'm gonna allow this to grind itself out. But the question is, how far can I go 
if after I beat the requirements of Fire Knight, how much more am I gonna need for dungeons? Plus, we have to rank up champions as well. My God, so much to do. All right, so notice right here, we gotta get down that shield. On the top of the screen, you see the shield, now there's a number seven, now a number six. We need to get 10 hits on that shield so the Fire Knight will open himself to me before he strikes. Now, thank God we have Ursula because she's gonna be needed. Revivals will be needed. Hopefully, Apothecary can heal her and keep her strong. She also increases defense. Now's our chance. We want to burn. We got to get burn on him so Rathalos can then strike while burned and do double damage. That's the plan. All right, this is not good. We lost our healer. We need to get healed. We need her. Her next ability needs to be revive or else we're done for. Get that revive up. Come on. There it is. Can we get a heal on her? No! This is going to be a fail. My God. So this tells me one thing. It tells me that I'm not gonna have consistent enough wins on auto to do Fire Knight and get the points that we need. So we need to drop down. We can't do this. Man, that's actually quite disappointing. I won three, lost one. That tells me that I really shouldn't be doing it. And I really should be sticking to, what level am I sticking to? Level 13. Level 13 is the one that I'm gonna be sticking to. We may as well super rate it at this point and get a battle in. Let's see if this one looks, I mean, this one's gonna look a lot different, honestly. It's gonna look a heck of a lot different. Good thing is his strikes are not striking as hard. Still not an easy battle. Fire Knight is like my nemesis. I dislike him more than I dislike Spider. Oh, there we go. Now, this is gonna be the end. He's got speed down, his turn meter's down. Actually, it's climbing quickly. Can we get his turn meter down a little bit more? No, we got it, okay. That's where we're gonna live. We're living over here on stage 13. This is gonna be our best chance. We're at 119 points, we need 2,250, which means we're just gonna be on auto cranking this out. Also, we have the Dungeon Divers event. Here, we need to get ourselves to 3,700. We're sitting at 1,103, which is not a lot compared to the progress we made yesterday using Spider. But, other events, Champion Training. What do we do here for champion training? Time to develop your champions, level them up, upgrade their rank, and get your hands on huge rewards. Okay, gems will be nice. Shard will be nice. Right here. This is where we gotta go. And this is what I've been preparing for. This one shouldn't be as hard to complete. Let's see how we do here. Let's put a, let's put a brew into each of these. Should we do that? One brew. Let's see how many points we get. Do we get any points? I think we do get some points for that. Yeah, we do. So I'm gonna put a brew into each of these. All right, a few brews were added. Now we're gonna do our little science. This is science. It's science. Champion training, we were at 57, now we're at 84. So we're getting some progress just from leveling those champs a little bit with some brews, right? And once I get brews in the majority of these, I guess we got a whole bunch. All right, now we wanna to go to upgrade rank. We're gonna take the twos. I'm gonna go with the, the brews, bing, bing, upgrade. Let's get all of these twos upgraded. Woo! All right, that took a bit, but now we're gonna get to the rank, and this should be a tad bit easier. So let's get up in here and do this the right way. I'm gonna get as much as we can into these bad boys and hope that we're progressing the way that we want to. Did we make any progress? Champion training, did that do much? It didn't do as much as I would have liked to see. Wow, okay, 621. This is also, man, we gotta knock this out. We also have a lot of champions of higher rank over here in the vault. So a lot of these are ready to roll. So let's get all of my three stars out of the vault, or at least a good number of them. Let's move all these to the collection. Now let's mess around the tavern and see what we can do. All right, what kind of points? We gotta get rid of all of them. I know, maybe I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing, but we need to get rid of all of them. All these were locked because they were being used in faction wars. So my faction war performance will most likely suffer a little bit here. But at the same time, we have to do it because we need to make sure that this fusion is our priority. So now what does this do? By the way, the market calls, market calls, good. What does this do inside of champion training event? Not as much progress as I would have hoped. Oh my God, how am I gonna do this? Do I have to start getting my other champions up in level? No. I don't have anything. I'm a little concerned here about how I'm gonna do this. This is going to be quite challenging. This is not gonna be the easiest task at hand. Man, all these red affinity champions make it tough because we don't have a lot there. 
All right, not bad, not bad. But I wanna take a look at another thing with this event as well, because champion training event, there may be more to it than just levels. We got up to 14.5, and it's time to develop your champions. Level them, upgrade their rank, and get your hands on huge rewards. Can I use books on this? Will booking them work? Now we did just get another promo code too. Let's see if this works, what I get from it. Floral Boost 2 GT. We got some energy and some autos. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect timing. We could use as much energy as we can get. So as we look at our chart here, it looks like the champion training event actually goes all the way through Monday. It's gonna overlap with the champion chase event, the artifact enhancement event again, we better build, wow, we better get a bunch of silver again. I didn't realize there was another one of those coming. We better do some spider and get some silver. And, well, there's spider tournament right there, which would be perfect. So we're essentially halfway through the fusion at this point. Dungeon divers, oh, oh, this is tough. Fire Knight, dungeon diver, champion training. Man, champion chase is gonna add some good stuff to it because I have some good things to pull over here. It'll help us really nicely. So I'm saving all those until we need them. But this tavern work is, is quite a bit of work. And now we're at the point where we have a lot of 20s to go up, but not a lot of food to throw into them to go up, if you know what I mean. The rank is gonna struggle. So let's pull out Tracker. I don't know what kind of four stars we could actually turn into fives, or whether I should do that at all. I think I should more be focusing on getting my three stars up. Again, brews are getting low. Hopefully don't we, need, we don't need more for another event. We got a blue guy here. We'll go one, two, three, boom. This is all good. Another blue. One, two, three. Boom. I'm liking this. We're, we did a nice job. But why is the events not lit up? Why did I get nothing for all of that champion training? Oh my jeez. Holy cow. I guess we're gonna we're gonna also have to run some champions to get experience just from just from the game as well, from leveling. Which man, that's gonna take a while. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is fighting Tag Arena with a single affinity. We want that, we want that. I don't care if I win or if I lose. We just wanna get that extra 50 energy so that we can then set things up and we can just go on auto. Now watch, my guy's not gonna beat her. Can she heal? I don't think she's got, she's got no lifesteal on her, does she? They put life, they do have lifesteal on her. You little, you little sneaky girl. I just want the extra energy. Did I choose the wrong battle? What, what am I even doing? I think over time I'll win this, but I don't got that kind of time. You guys know what I'm going to be doing. Fire Knight, Dungeon Divers, and then while I'm sitting on the couch tonight, I'm going to be going through and upgrading a whole bunch of champions, trying to make sure that we can get the, art, the enhancement. What is it called? The champion training done. Man, it is a lot to do. I hope that you guys are enjoying your fusion work because it is a freaking job now, isn't it? Remember to download the game using my QR code or link in the description and subscribe so when you come back tomorrow for that video, I'll still be sitting here waiting for this battle to end. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a grindy one today, I know, but I appreciate all you guys. Remember, I do go live every Wednesday on the channel, taking you through the grind and the journey of Raid Shadow Legends at that moment in time. That is our time to connect. I appreciate all of you. And I'll see you back here tomorrow in another video.